Hello, this is my review for this Bible. This is a uh, pretty good quality Bible I received as a gift. Um, I have to say it, it was a pleasant surprise. It is made out of cowhide. Um, it definitely feels different. It's got a nice texture to it. Um, it isn't what we would call premium, and you'll see that in just a second. But this is a nice Bible, brown, genuine cowhide. And as you can see, it is the Holman Christian Standard Bible. It is a nice, uh, nice little feature, a nice little thing. The Holman is a relatively new translation uh, came out about the same time as the ESV um, but it is a um, brand new translation from the ground up um, it's slowly gaining in popularity right now uh, a lot of people uh, that were with the NIV have switched to it um, it's got um, what they call uh, opt optimal equivalent, I believe, which is um, it tries to remain as readable as, say, the NIV, but also as true to everything else as the uh, ESV or NASB. So, this is it. Feels like a solid Bible. It, um, it's nice. It's It's got a good feel. Um, one thing I was surprised at, as you can see, it's got hubs. A lot of people that are into premium Bibles or Bible rebinding like their hubs. And this has some really good pronounced hubs. I mean, it's a nice, nice feature to have. It was pleasant. This is my one, one of my drawbacks see this right here by my thumb this is where uh, you can see the stressing this is a paste down paper um, liner it is um, not uh, not going to last long um, you can't really see where the gluing is this is Smith's own I will say that so um, you know um, it, it's one of those things that uh, if this is a block that you like could be um, put back into a higher quality binding or um, even if they can reuse this leather uh, which I don't know much about uh, it's a possibility they could do that but anyway that's what you get um, you get the normal everything here. You get the presentation page, marriage page, um, births, marriages, occasions to remember, deaths. Then you get your presentation page. And as you can see, there is a lot of ghosting here. In fact, it almost looks like you're looking into a few pages. Um, it does have the nice gilding. But, you know, you get, get a few things here. You get God's plan of salvation. Um, over here, information, you know, contents, table of contents. Um, you get uh, the whole thing. Like, here's... Here's where they got a bunch of different ones. Um, it is interesting. And as you can see, the typeset and design is an um, interesting thing. Um, designed, and the interior is all designed in Denmark. So. This isn't a Bible that's printed in China. Um, 
Oh, wait a minute. I stand corrected. It is printed in China. But the design for it is from Denmark. You get a lot of things. The history, why they decided to come out with the HCSB, um, which is interesting. You should read it. it um, a lot of people kind of wrongly say it's the uh, Southern Baptist Bible, and it's not. Um, there were a lot of other uh, scholars from other denominations that got behind it. And uh, other denominations, actually some churches are using this as their uh, go-to translation. So you get the Old Testament. You get Genesis. Now this is where it's different. Before, Holman didn't have it up here. It was center, and um, the references weren't center columned. They were actually within the paragraphs, like right here. They would put like little things. It would make uh, for the text to be a little bit bigger. Now, this is an 8 or 8.5 text, uh, size text, and um, for me, it's still readable. Uh, for other people I've talked to, it's not as readable for them, but um, it is interesting. And you'll get all your footnotes right here at the bottom. But there's one thing that's different. One thing. See that? The book and chapter are on the bottom corners, not the top where you would traditionally have them. These are at the bottom, which... I thought maybe it's because of the page that's there, but in actuality, it shows up everywhere. So, it's not a bad thing. Now, still get somewhat of that flop that you would in a premium Bible, and I'm sure with a lot of use, um, this, this Bible will get through. Uh, will easily um, have more of a pronounced flop. Overall, it's a pretty good Bible. Still has, um, and it is a red letter. It is red letter. Um, and as you can see, this this was a good thing. Um, this red a lot. A complaint about a previous edition was that the red was uh, almost pink. And it is not here. It's actually a pretty good pronounced red. In fact, um, if I can find it, like, okay, here's one thing the HCSB is known for. Uh, all the quotes to the Old Testament are bolder than the quotes, you know, than its own text in the New Testament. But uh, I wanted you to see, and this is where it's, really messing me. I'm looking at the top for the for the um, chapter and verse, but this is where it kind of throws you off. This is a pretty good bright red, but then you get here where the bold red, and this is where it kind of throws you off almost, um, because that's almost the red you would expect uh, to see, and it kind of then makes this red look not as well, not as pronounced as this red, which comes from, if you're reading this, comes from the Old Testament. Anyway, um, that's one thing. Again, notes right here. Um, it's good. It's a good Bible to use for study. Um, and then one of the things that you get Get a little concordance in the back and uh, just before that you get the bullet points these are the words um, the bullet notes these are the words that uh, they talk about uh, the reason why they translated them or um, you know how they use them in their translation and then of course some maps standard maps uh, this one is definitely 
uh, new for the HCSB in this one. Um, Paul's Missionary Journeys. Don't know a Bible that doesn't have that. And then again, the um, back Bible cover. But overall, this is not a bad Bible. Here's my thing. Um, this isn't gonna, con you know, this isn't gonna be considered. Oh, and before I forget, I haven't taken it out yet, but it does have this small, thin ribbon. Um, it does have a small, thin ribbon, nicely colored, matches it beautifully. But this isn't going to be. Uh, if you're a premium Bible collector, it's not going to um, cut it for you. I don't think. Um, but if you're a person that loves the translation and wants a Bible that's going to last longer than your average Bible. Now I had, I have another, um, thin line somewhere and that one, um, I just, I just took out a big chunk with my nail from the, uh, leather like material that it's wrapped in. Um, it's, um, it's more durable than that. Um, there is this other leather-like material that um, I have here with uh, this one. You've seen this. I did a review on it. This is my compact HCSB. Um, this one it might last longer uh, than uh, the bonded leather. And uh, it's got good print, but this one, this one actually, this one takes the reference points. This is the original setup, and as you can see, it still has the verses up top. Um, and it has a different typeset, and again, you know, center space with the writing. This is what the ultra thin used to be. This is a new setup for the ultra thin. It's not bad. I'll admit it. It's it's actually a good thing. I will probably use this as a um, teaching Bible when I go and um, meet with friends at a coffee shop. Um, you know, places where I don't want to carry a big Bible or an expensive Bible or anything like that. Um, you know, this one will have durability. It will be able to stand up. I really have nothing bad to say for what this Bible is. A uh, good friend of mine now on uh, Facebook uh, has said uh, it's a Bible with bang for your buck. And uh, that's what I would say. Uh, having looked at it, seen how much this is, um, you can get this uh, online for anywhere between $30 and $45. And its suggested retail price is $50. That's a good bargain. Um, it isn't going to be high quality, and here's why. If you look right there at the H, you'll see the gold leaf uh, was not perfect. Uh, looks like it's been worn a bit. Now, that isn't going to deter me from um, not using it. I mean, this will probably get some good use. One thing about Holman that most people, I don't think, really know, and this actually was brought up to me uh, a couple of weeks ago, is that Holman has the lifetime guarantee. So, if anything happens with this Bible, um, I can contact Holman and they will replace it. Um, so that's that's a good that's a good thing to think about if you're uh, thinking about a Bible that you want to uh, have for a while. Um, maybe maybe uh, you're moving from the NIV to another translation, and you'd like to kind of keep um, some NIV-like things. But if you're into the ESV or the New American Standard, this is the translation for you. Now, 
uh, I like this. This has become my second translation. Uh, I love the ESV. HCSB has become my second translation. Um, other than that, I have nothing else to say. This is a good Bible to get. Um, I would I would suggest it. Uh, I I would pick it up as a gift uh, for say a new Christian who I know is going to um, pour over the scriptures. Needs those references. Needs those you know little notes. Uh, wants to really study the Bible and knowing how people put miles uh, in their Bibles when they first become Christians. Uh, this is going to be a Bible that will get those miles and um, feed them and uh, stand up to the to the use that is going to happen. So, other than that, uh, that's it. You know, it's a good Bible, definitely. Um, for what it is, for the type of Bible it is, I, I give it a high, high ranking for it. Um, it's a good price, um, good material for, for its use for the price, and uh, will last you longer than most other Bibles that are not uh, genuine or premium leather. Um, I mean, it is. It is a, a, a genuine leather bible for that set anyway i'm rambling on because i am tired so without further ado once again sorry uh like subscribe i appreciate it god bless have a great day